Alright, so obviously this video is a little bit different from what I usually do. I already had these figures unboxed, so I thought I'd just showcase them and talk about them a little bit. Alright, so first off we have Ruka from Rena Girlfriend. And by the way, she is best girl, you can't change my mind. Now this figure is manufactured by Broccoli. I don't know why the name is called Broccoli. Well, it was the first time I've heard of the manufacturer, but regardless, I heard that they're a really good manufacturer and that their figures tend to go up in price. And so I'm glad I got this figure because I was not disappointed by the quality of this figure. It was really good, really nice. Everything about it was just done correctly, in my opinion. And the only thing I really have to complain about for this figure is the base. It's kind of plain compared to the rest of the figure. No, I love it. It looks very, very beautiful. Like she just came out of the anime herself. Broccoli did an amazing job with her school uniform, the paint job on everything, all the creases and just basically how the lighting hits it. Or how it's intended to hit it where all the shading is and everything and all of the folding and the clothing. Everything just is very precise. Done very nicely. I will be picking up more Broccoli figures in the future. It sounds kind of weird when I say Broccoli in figures because I think Broccoli as a, a food, a vegetable that I eat. Anyways, I'm just rambling on now. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I love this figure. If you are a Ruka fan, pick this figure up from Broccoli. I don't know what the price is currently because I got her during release and I just didn't make a video on her. But yeah, this figure is really nice. Hopefully the B-Row showed that off. Moving on to the next figure. Alright, and now the second figure I have is Rin from Eurocamp. And I've talked about Eurocamp a lot in my videos in the past. So if you haven't checked those out yet, go check them out. I think they're pretty good. You might not. I don't really I don't care if you think it's good or not. I think they're pretty good, so go watch it. But anyways, this figure was manufactured by Ame Ame themselves. I have never actually gotten a figure produced by Ame Ame. Not quite sure why, I just didn't or haven't until now because I really love Rin. I love her character and I thought that this figure was really unique. So I wanted to get more Rin figures. I might actually start a, a shelf of just Rin because she does have a lot of figures out. And I really like this one. So that's why I got this one first. Now the only thing I don't like about this particular figure is that she's supposed to be at like a spa or a hot spring kind of thing. But looking at the figure without that knowledge... You really can't tell what she's doing. It looks like she's just sitting on a bench reading a book, which is basically what she's doing, but she's supposed to be at a spa. So I wish that they added or incorporated some kind of water effect beneath her, like how the artwork looks. So yeah, I'll throw that picture up. She does come with a bonus acrylic stand that I do have. I didn't think that I got that version. I thought that I only got the uh, figure, but I guess I got the bonus. Unless I'm just crazy and the bonus automatically comes with it and there's, there's only one. I can't remember. It's been a while since I bought this. So, so yeah, just cut me some slack. There are just some spots on her that I wish I'm, I'm, I would have flushed out. Overall, the figure isn't too bad. It's just, it's not the best or most well done figure. And I think maybe if they delayed her a little bit more and just took a little bit more time on her, she would have came out a lot better. Regardless, I still love the figure. I still love the character, which is probably why I still love the figure. And yeah, I would recommend getting her. Aside from the fact that if you can overlook that she doesn't have, you know, some kind of water effect to really show off what artwork she is based off of. Now moving on to the third and last figure of this video. So the last figure for this haul is Yuki. And she is from Sword Art Online. I myself enjoyed the show a lot. I know a lot of people dislike the show for their own various reasons. 
I have my own reasons for liking the show, aside from just the hacking and slashing and the OP character that Critico is. I enjoyed it, and I think a lot of other people did enjoy it as well. But now I'm just talking about the show, so let me get to the figure herself. Anyways, this is my very first wedding dress figure, and... I don't know really why I got this figure as my first wedding dress figure. While there's a lot of other better ones out there. I just... I mainly got this one because she's on a beach. And I'm kind of trying to build a theme around the beach. So, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory. I wanted a beach-themed shelf. She's on a beach. So that's why I picked this one up. I don't know if I'm going to get Asuna... Probably not. If I get a Asuna figure, it's probably going to be a different one. I don't really know which one I'm aiming for, but I'm not really in a rush to get one, so yeah. So this figure is manufactured by Kadokawa, and I think that they did a really good job on this figure. It's not really much for me to complain about. I think that the detailing is everywhere is actually very very nice especially in the base i love it a lot a lot better than the chica figure that i got the base on that was just horrendous i did not like that at all but this figure is is great everything from the base to the sculpting of her body to just the wedding dress itself now the only thing i have to complain about this figure would be her top there's some not really paint defect it's just not sculpted out very well you can see it was done really roughly but it's not too much for me to really co complain about i love the figure overall i think it looks really nice it's very beautiful nicely done and whenever i get my shelf up i'll show you guys i don't have it really really i don't have the shelf up completed doesn't really look that nice right now, so I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put everything. So yeah, just look forward to that. And that is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, consider subscribing. Click this video over here and see you guys over there. Peace out.